For the first time ever, the elves of the North Pole felt a chill in January 1948. Only a few truly noticed it, as many were still so exhausted from the Christmas season that they simply went home after work each night. None noticed the figure of a hooded stranger walking through the streets towards Santa's workshop, or that after giving three knocks, it entered. Santa jumped to his feet from his desk where the stranger entered his office. Oh. Please, sit down, Santa whimpered, his normally cheery voice collapsing under a nervous energy. As you'd like, the stranger said, sitting across from Santa at his desk. Santa examined the stranger closely and nervously, clearly uncomfortable with his presence. Do you know why I invited you here? He asked. I have no idea, the stranger said coyly. Santa fumbled through some toy diagrams and the like, searching for a paper. While looking through his files, he began, Well, sir, uh, yes. Spit it out, Kringle, the stranger said. Santa stopped, a startled look in his face. Well, the fact of the matter is we just can't keep up with Christmas. One hundred years ago, the elves and I could handle the wishes of every child, but the population has doubled since then. Their wishes are getting to be out of control. We just barely made it this year, but we can't go on like this. The stranger let out a soft chuckle. Well, war and famine just ain't what they used to be for calling, it exclaimed sarcastically. The desperation welled in Santa's voice. Please, can you help me? Of course, the stranger replied. A brief sigh of relief escaped from Santa, his big frame visibly relaxing. But everything has a price, the stranger continued. This is an unusual deal for me, since I can't have your soul. I'll need something else. Anything... Santa sighed. The elves couldn't believe how easy the 1948 Christmas season had been. Each day's production seemed to be double or triple the same days last year. Santa seemed more relaxed and rested than ever, and when he left on Christmas Eve, they held their first post-production feast since the late 1880s to celebrate their good fortune. When Santa did not join the Christmas Day festivities, some of his senior elves, Melody and Patrick, went to find him. Just as they got to the workshop, they saw the stranger at the door and hid behind a pine tree watching. At the door stood Santa, holding what looked like a sleeping little girl. Is this Patricia Morgan? The stranger asked. Yes, Santa replied, a sadness tinged in his voice. Excellent, the stranger hissed taking hold of the sleeping girl and turning from the door. Walking back out in the snow, the stranger called. Oh, Santa. Pleasure doing business with you. Patricia and it then disappeared in the blink of an eye. Is that the Patricia Morgan? Melody whispered to Patrick. She was the nicest child in the whole world this year, Patrick said. <laughs> 